guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and since I haven't done one of these in a while, I thought I would do a doggy product haul for my dog Dutch, who is a pug. He is right behind me taking a little snooze. So this is a collective haul from a few different places. I got some stuff at Target, Downtown Dogs, which is a local dog boutique here in Tampa, as well as um, Marshalls, which has really great dog stuff if you don't know, and some really good sales and if you're looking for some things. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, first things first, I went to Downtown Dogs today to pick up Dutch's food. Um, he gets a certain type of um, brand that I really, really like and I thought I would share with you guys today. We feed him um, from, and it is a really great company. This particular one is in the pork and peas recipe, which I really think, I love their packaging for these things. I think it's really cute. But most importantly, when it comes to dog food, you wanna make sure that you're feeding your dog a high quality food. And this one is really great, um, particularly with the ingredients. It's got pork, peas, chickpeas, and um, it's just a really, great brand. I can't say enough good things about it. This is a great product, I think, because it is a small company that does from. It's a family-owned business, and it's really great. You get this more at, like, specialty dog stores or dog boutiques, and I want to say this is a $15 to $17 bag, and of course, this is, um, this is only about a four-pound bag, so you can buy it in the bigger size, but Dutch is a small dog, so this will last me about a month for him. And the cool thing about Fromm's as well, um, I like their company, but I also like that they have different flavors. So you can pick out quite a few different flavors for your dog, and you can kind of interchange them um, pretty easily without having to worry about your dog getting sick or upset, like an upset stomach. I normally like will mix in a different um, variety every month, kind of as he's transitioning out of this. But his favorite one is definitely the pork and peas. So I highly recommend it um, if you're looking to, for a new dog food brand. I think it's a great company. And if you go to their website, um, they actually will have a locator for you if you want to find out where you can get this brand. And one thing I forgot to mention about Fromm's is that they do have a promotion where if you keep the USPC code on the back of your, um, your bag, I just cut mine out because I normally put this in an airtight container and I throw the rest of this away. Um, if you collect them, if you collect 12, I believe you can send them into the company to get a free bag, which for me is basically one free bag a year, but I will take it if it is free. So I recommend that. And if you want to get more information, I think you can go to Fromm's website to get the, the little um, envelope for that. Now, in addition to that, I also got from Downtown Dogs, which is a little boutique store in Tampa. They have a little dog bakery, so I got my dog Dutch a little cookie. Whenever I'm there, I always pick him up something. And this is a cute little, almost looks like a little pedophore sandwich. Um, they always have really cute stuff for the season, but I didn't see any fall treats. So I'm going to go ahead and give Dutch this little guy. I'll probably put a, pop it on camera in a minute when he wakes up. Okay, so it's time to give Dutch his little pedophore cookie. Dutch, what are you going to do for this cookie? Can't get a high five? Can't get a high five? Oh, double high five. Okay, sit. Here's his little pedophore cookie. Oh, nom noms. There you go, boo boo. When I was at Target the other day, I came across these little things, which I think are really come in handy if you feed your dog any um, canned food that you're not utilizing the whole can. Um, and this is from Boots and Barkley. And these are like little lid covers for the can, so that it kind of is a can saver, um, so you don't have to waste any food. And the food that I utilize for Dutch if he is eating canned food is this Merix uh, Grain Free um, and they have different flavors and stuff but this is one of their classic recipes in Wingling and I really think this is a cool product. Um, they have tons of different like different really cute recipes but this particular one Wingling is one of Dutch's favorites and what I really 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 like about it is you can see the chicken wing the sweet potato the carrot the pea and the red delicious apples that are in this so it's not like all mushed up you actually can see it in there and I like that it makes me feel like he's getting a really like better diet um, and I don't feed this to him all the time. This is kind of like a special treat. Sometimes we'll do it once a month. Um, and I definitely don't give him the whole can. I give him a little bit each, um, each day mixed in with his regular um, dry food that I just showed you. So these are really cool. And again, the, some of the ingredients in this are chicken, chicken broth, chicken liver, carrots, peas, apples, potato, 
and I like that. I like to see that there's like legitimately whole good products in his food. Um, and again, this is by Merrick and you can find a, def a ton of really cool different flavors um, for your dog. I will say that there are some that do not work for Dutch and give him some nasty diarrhea. That would be grandma's pot pie. I wouldn't buy that one and don't recommend that one. And the brats, he doesn't like that one either. But all of the others um, that I've tried are really pretty good. But again, you just have to kind of judge your dog's stomach if, if they have a, you know, if they're very, you know, if they have any problems when you slightly change anything, they might not do well with these products. But again, I mix it in with his regular food so he's not getting a ton of stuff. But yes, you will see a whole like roasted chicken wing in there. There's actually two in each can. And don't worry, the bone is still in it, but it has been so roasted that it just totally breaks apart. It won't hurt them when they eat it. So highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. My dog loves it. Oh, and I forgot to mention about this product. You can get this at any regular pet store. I've seen it at Petland, Petco, PetSmart. Um, you don't have to find this at like a specialty dog store. The next few things that I got for my dog are from Marshalls. And this thing, I was just basically looking for a nice mat to put my dog's bowls on. And I saw this and I just thought it was so cute. It is called um, the For Pet and Pet Lovers. It's the hand loomed 100% natural rug. And basically, um, this was only $3.99 from Marshalls. So how cute is this? And it just has some cute, nice... Um, font on here and a topography bark friends um good dog wolf just so cute and i'm i think this will go really well with my home decor in general but he has nice little silver bowls that i'm going to put on this um so that they don't slip around on the floor when he's eating because for some reason that bothers him he doesn't like the bowls to make noise so this is going on the floor the next thing I got, which I really, really love, and I cannot wait to put this up, is this cute little picture frame that says, when all else fails, hug the dog. And I just thought this was so sweet because that's just how some days are. You have a bad day, and you come home, and your dog is there, and it just puts that smile back on your face, and they're just awesome. I love my dog so much, and I, I love how the sides have like little paw prints on it. And again, it's kind of like that rustic look, and I um, have a little area where he eats but I'm probably going to put this on the wall and put his little picture in there. So I'll try to show you guys if I've done it by the time this video goes up. I'll try to insert it. And then the last thing I got from Marshalls is this little, um, if you can see, it's got little paw prints on the side with this cute pattern, which is really popular right now. I don't know the official name of it, but I just love this little box. And it's basically a toy bin for him. Um, I believe this was, uh, I don't have it on here, but this is actually the Humane Society. Um... I think sold this so I hope this is going to help animals oh and it was $5.99 so super cheap and this is going to help me kind of organize his toys because right now they're just spread all over the house they don't really have a bin um, area and this is short enough so that he can still stick his head in and get his toys out without me having to go get it for him and just to kind of help clean and organize and again I just love that it's kind of a natural neutral finish um, with a nice texture I think it'll look really nice and look good in my house without you know being so cluttered so that is it guys for my little doggy product haul I hope you enjoyed it I want to do more of these just because I feel like there's a lot of dog stuff that we could talk about um, I love my dog very uh, into new stuff for dogs I, I don't do the bark box subscription but there's tons of dog subscriptions so if you know of any that you think are good leave them down below and I'll check them out but I think there's definitely some fun videos we could do um, with that so definitely let me know if you have any requests and I'd be happy to do that and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you soon bye